You know, yesterday I was sitting there talking about time and, and Napoleon Hill talked about in his quote, there's no perfect time to improve yourself. Sitting here thinking about two younger brothers who, three younger brothers. I taught them and now they are grown men who are leaders within their own, and within their own right, their own organization. And I think about, you know, Terrell, Isaiah, Tori, how all of them have made different changes and sacrifices to make themselves better. And you know what I talked about, how you plant those seeds in the field of indecisions, you get weeds. These three young men planted their seeds in the field of production, a field of growth. But you know what they had to deal with? People that tried to hurt them tried to hurt their time, tried to hurt their progress. And at times, you know, we all put ourselves in position to hurt ourselves too. But, you know, when you got people that come into your life to try to hurt you and to disrupt, disrupt your timing, they ain't doing nothing but making your life better. They making you, you know, elevate to another level. You know, and I sit there and I think about people that come into your life to destroy your dreams, destroy your visions, destroy your goals that you want to accomplish for yourself. <laughs> They're people that stick into your ribs because guess what? You need your ribs in terms to help your lungs produce air that you breathe. It protects you. Some people look at it as crazy when I say I, I want negative people around me. I want people that want to hurt me around me. I want people that want to talk about me around me because guess what in terms I have this saying on my wall in my office at work I work hard in silence and I let my success be the noise people that try to hurt you that try to destroy you they're very loud and their day-to-day -day operation is to you know make so much noise to distract the people that are going to open up another door for you It's okay, and it's cool. People like that can't disrupt your time because time deals with choices, judgments, and decisions that when something's going to happen, it's going to happen on the right time. People that destroy you or try to hurt you, they create another level of intelligence, you know what I'm saying, that's in you, that then turns to produce to a level of fun and excitement and joy that you have in your life. So keep people that are, you know, trying to hurt you or trying to destroy you around you. Keep them close by because that in terms fuels your creativity. That in terms fuel your level of intelligence. That in terms fuel your mental capacity. That in terms fuel your physical toughness. You know, in that, When you are successful, when you have produced something that's extremely amazing, you know what I'm saying? You have so much fun and excitement and joy in your life. And those individuals that try, or people or groups of people that try to hurt you, try to delay your time, they look at you, why are you excited? Why are you having fun? You know, I have this saying, be great today, but be even greater tomorrow. I always live by that. I always live by that. Everybody has to have their own individual saying, a motto that they live by. You know, another video coming soon. But again, people are putting in, in, in your day-to-day -day life to hurt you. Keep them close because for once, it enhances and fuels and develops your creativity that allows you to produce something greater. And that, in terms, allows you, that allows you to have so much fun with living. But also, never forget that you're elevating people in that process, too. Have a great one. Use your Sunday as the perfect time to develop your life and to enhance your creativity. And again, to continue to learn something that you can apply each and every day. Be safe. Please practice social distancing and continue 
to help and serve other people. Pessimism leads to weakness. Optimism.